Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Revoltech Yamaguchi Alphonse Elric. So yes, here we have Al to go along with Ed that I reviewed earlier. He is also a very cool figure. Uh, same level of detail and articulation and number of accessories and everything you would expect from Revoltech. Pretty much the only issue I do have with him is that he is a bit short. But other than that, he is really cool for any Full Metal Alchemist fan. Now let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, sculpt, paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have Ed and Al. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Alphonse is roughly standard 6-inch size, which is not big enough, because Al is real big, and he looks like he's not even close to the right size, especially compared to Ed, who is real small. So that is unfortunate. They don't really look particularly good together in terms of height. Unfortunate and really one of my only complaints about him. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at Al. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin. Here you can see Al. He is wearing his armor, which is kind of a silvery blue sort of color. It looks pretty nice. It's very reflective. He's got big spiky shoulder pads. His chest plate's all jutting out in the front in kind of a point. Everything looks pretty accurate. He's got his little alchemical symbol on the shoulder there. He's got some gloved hands down there with little plates on them. Those are interchangeable with other hands. He has his big plated leggings and little spiky things there right above his shoes. And he also has his white loincloth. And on the back it is segmented with a weirdly unnecessary piece of articulation. I have no idea why they did that. Either way though, he looks pretty good and doesn't really have the big obvious joint issues that Ed has. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpts. Head sculpt wise, Al comes with two heads. Uh, he has his just standard helmet, which is nicely detailed. It has little pinkish red eyes glowing in the back there and the big long thing, whatever that is, coming off the top of his head, little horn, all those things. And then he has a more cartoony kind of head, similar to the one that Ed has. Uh, it's got a little sweat drop there. It's much less detailed and has like little squiggly teeth and it's very cute if you want to use that instead you're welcome to do so and while we're in the head area a nice little piece of detail that you'll probably never even really get to look at is the fact that he actually has his blood seal in there on the inside of his little uh, neck plate thing behind his helmet so that's a very nice attention to detail point there now let's go ahead and zoom out in and look at some articulation our articulation wise, Alphonse is fairly standard Revel Tech fare in that he includes lots of revolver joints. If you don't know what a revolver joint is, it's essentially just a ratcheted ball peg that rotates on both ends. His neck is actually a double revolver joint, so it can like move really far forward and back, rotates. Revolver joints on the shoulders, revolver joints on the elbows, and in the wrists. I can't tell what this is in the waist. It doesn't feel ratcheted. So it may just be a normal sort of barbell. His hips are standard hinges. And they move in and out forward and back. His knees are also standard hinges. And then his ankles are revolver joints. And also he has another tiny revolver joint on this little back flap here for whatever reason. So you can get him into pretty much any pose you really need to. So yeah, Al comes with several interchangeable pieces and accessories. So let's go ahead and look at those. Hey, accessories wise, Al comes with three different sets of hands. He's got his fist hands, his sort of karate chop or clapping for alchemy purposes hands, and he's got his sort of grasping hands. He also has that standard Rebel Tech dashing foot peg thing. Doesn't look especially good, but I guess it functions for what it's supposed to do. And then lastly, he comes with a standard Rebel Tech stand, which has a foot peg and also a jointed uh, Rebel Tech joint arm. And he comes with a little clear orange plastic box to keep accessories in if you don't just want to keep them in the packaging. Now that wraps it up for Al and all of his accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging-wise, Al has fairly standard Revoltech packaging. Revoltech Yamaguchi, 117. Alphonse Elric, picture of the figure down there and some logos. On the back, various poses and pictures of the figure, as well as his accessories, and a picture of Ed, who I just reviewed the other day. As always, these are good for in or out of package display, so yeah, Al. Alright, that wraps it up for Al, so until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR Reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.